Well, that was a pretty strong performance from you. Just talk us through the fight. Is, did it kind of go how you expected it to? And did you think you'd be able to control her like that? In there? Oh, for sure. I, be, I thought and knew I was going to be stronger and faster than her. Uh, I expected us to throw kicks at each other. <laughs> it was more like a boxing match than a karate fight. That's okay. Uh, I had fun in there. Um, but the only thing I can say that I didn't like was the second round when uh, that takedown and she really wasn't doing anything on top of me. I really wish the ref would have stood it up so we could start striking again. But besides that, I felt like I was uh, dominating her. So earlier, Felice Herrick said that she felt like the winner of your fight should be in the title picture. Do you feel like that's nice? Uh, quite possibly, yeah. I really uh, wanted that finish in that third round. I think that would have sealed the deal a little bit more for me. But um, should they ask me to fight for the title next, I'm glad they accept. Was there anything about Michelle that surprised you tonight, or did you, this is sort of what you expected? Uh, nothing surprised me. I was faster than her, and I was stronger than her, and I felt like she was ready to give up multiple times in that fight. At what moments did you feel like she was you know, on the cusp of that, and why uh, couldn't you push her? Definitely in the first and third, there was like one or two moments. I remember in the first round, one of the moments, she was on the cage, and she was just... If I could have gotten, it's really hard when you're you're trying to get out, but they're holding you and you're holding you and you're holding them. You know, you're trying to keep them in the kid's cage, but then you want to get out and they're holding you. And I just want to punch her. So once there, and then in the third round, she basically just fell on the floor herself, you know. And then she up kicked me, and I was trying to get to the side of her. And uh, I don't remember what happened from that, but she basically fell on the floor herself. So I felt like she was giving up. Has this been the best year of your life? You get engaged, you get the finish in your last fight, and you get a big win tonight. Yeah, it's been pretty great. I feel I felt tonight that I was getting back to that fighter. That was an Invicta, the hungry fighter, and I really want it more, especially with the change of belt. Uh, you know, Rose is the champion now, and I'm happy that she's there. She's a true representation of the strawweight division, and uh, I'm just excited to see what's next for me. And even though you guys have trained, you'd fight Rose, right, for the title that's on an issue? For sure. Business is business. We all know that we want the same thing. There's other girls that I've, I train with that are in the strawweight division as well. Considering how long you had to wait to get this fight, you know, is it more satisfying that you did, you know, get a win the way you did, dominate, especially that third round? Yeah, I heard I outstruck her by 70 punches or 70 strikes, so that's amazing. I didn't know that. I felt like I was, you know, ahead of the game the whole time. But um, I, there's definitely things I need to work on. I felt great with my cardio. Um, I, I felt like I could have done more, but you know, you always want to do more when you're at the end of it all. So I'm excited and happy about my performance, but um, I really did want to finish. You talk about being able to outland it by those numbers. Is that kind of what you feel is your biggest advantage in this division, just your cardio and your output and your pace? Yeah, I feel like um, my movement and my pace definitely um, surprises some of the girls because I am really fast and I'm able to get in there and get out. Um, actually, this is the first fight like I felt like I got hit a little bit more than I usually do, but maybe that's because I was standing in the pocket a lot more than I usually do. Um, you know, it is what it is. You're going to get hit. But uh, I, I'm definitely learning things as I go, and I felt like this fight, I learned a lot. Assuming you're healthy and everything like that, when are you looking to, to fight again? What would be like an ideal situation for you? Uh, three months, so I get a couple weeks off and right back into fight camp. Excellent. Earlier this week, Dana White said that he thought Joanna kind of deserved another crack because she was mm -hmm. you know, champion for so long. If you don't get a title shot, who would suffice at this point? Uh, I guess a top five fighter, somebody, who, another person that I can prove that I uh, you know, deserve a title shot. But I, I'm not against Joanna getting, you know, next title fight. She was, you know, champion for, what, seven title defenses, I think. So uh, she definitely deserves it if they give it to her. And if not, and they want to give it to me or somebody else, um, that's okay, too. Does anyone come to mind? Myself? No, no, no. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Good answer, but if you don't get it, um, it would make sense for If that. Michelle didn't want this fight, I honestly wanted to fight Carolina. Uh, but she's fighting Andrade next, yeah. so maybe the winner of that or... Who else is there? Uh, what, about, what about Claudia? Even though she's coming up a lot, would you want to fight Claudia? her? She's, she's, she's a big name. Uh, yeah, I'd fight her, but uh, I think at this point probably the winner of Andrade or Carolina would be good, but really I'd like a title fight. I'd like that you know, grudge match. I think it's a fight the fans want to see, and when we were in Invicta, um, everybody said that first time, I think we were the first fight they had on pay-per-view, that we were going to fight for the um, UFC title one day, and I believe that's going to happen. I think the story is there, and it'd be a great fight for the fans and for myself, and Nothing against Rose, you know, business is business, but I want that title fight, and I've been wanting it for a long time. So if, if it wasn't Rose, if it was Joanna, I'd still be, you know, edging for that title fight. It doesn't really matter who has it. I just want it. You know. you've, been, you've gone six rounds with Rose at this point right mm -hmm. now. What would be the biggest difference for you if you do get that third fight with her? I think I get better as the rounds go, so that fourth and fifth round would give me the advantage to continue on, just get better and pick up my pace even more. When you watched her fight with Joanna, that's kind of a weird question, but did you did you see things in there and say, you know, I know what I could do to beat her? Like, because the first fight obviously very dominant, she was able to get you the second time, but mm -hmm. I mean, did you see things and say, you know, I know ways I would beat her? 
I was totally impressed by Rose, her last fight, but I mean, it only, what, she won in the first or second round, I can't first. remember, in the first round, yeah, there wasn't really much to see out of that, but you've seen Rose as a fighter, she's very unpredictable, she's very good at her jiu-jitsu, very good striker, well-rounded fighter, so, it, you know, every fight presents something new, so I'm not, I wouldn't be able to pick something out of there now, just be me and her fighting. But you'd be very confident. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I've, you know, she, I know how she hits, I know how she, you know, I've taken her hits for six rounds, so it just, it'd be a fun fight, and I'd be very comfortable and just excited about it. Like I said, she's a true representation of the strawweight division, and uh, it'd be an honor to fight her a third time for a title.